All right, I think I got it. Hey, hey everybody. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the golden hour. Joining in for another episode. Listen, y'all. What are we gonna talk about today? We gonna find out together. <laughs> Listen, this week, I got a couple things written down, actually. So, uh, but we going to see how this going to flow and go, God help me, less of me, more of you, because uh, last week was something. I'm trying to I'm trying to be better prepared with um, a couple things. Ooh, and I got some stuff to show y'all. So, I can't wait. So, if you're joining in, if you're coming in, you're jumping on the live, say, hey. Say what's up. Say hey, how you doing? Good evening. What's up? Hey girl. Give me a shout out so I know you here. Uh, while I get these things together really quick. Welcome to the golden hour. This is my weekly lives that I do on Tuesdays, where you know I just kind of come on and be transparent and just just talk. <laughs> Just talk and share and talk about my journey, um, share things that I'm working on, share things that I'm experiencing, share revelations that I'm getting. Um, and I'm doing this because I feel like this is this is a way for me to give back the way that I received. And so through my journey of learning and growing, I only got to this point aside from God, right? But I've gotten to this point because I'm listening to other people's stories, other people's experiences. And I was able to relate to some of the things that people are talking about. And I'm like, oh, okay. So what they would talk about would cause me to go reach search stuff or dig deeper on stuff or ask myself even deeper questions. So I can get clear and heal and grow and just be an all around better person. So that's what I'm doing here. So, hey, what's up? Welcome, welcome to the golden hour. My name is, let me get myself together so I can actually look, look at y'all. Um, My name is Kimberly Dedine, Rise with Divine. I am an author. I am, um, I am the CEO and chief candle chemist at Pure Chemistry, where we are the missing element to your luxury aromatic experience. What does that mean? That means that we hand pour candles um, and they're not just candles, they're whole experiences that we like to send them, send them to homes and businesses all around the world. So y'all can enjoy joy, peace, comfort, feel those nostalgia moments that take you back to back in the day where stuff was just simpler times, you know, cause it's a lot of stuff going on right now um, in the world. And so we, we, we try to do our, our part. We try to do our part and, you know, show up in that way. And so, you know what I said, I'm a chief candle chemist. What does that mean? I'm glad you asked me. I'm going to tell you. So being the chief candle chemist, I am the person. I am the vessel. I am the volunteer. I am the chosen one God has put in this position to receive everything that he wants to do through pure chemistry, through our company, um, and send it out to people. So I'm the person that gets the ideas. I'm the person that receives the vision from him. I receive the ideas. I receive the instructions. I receive the um, creative insight, the prophetic insight um, on everything that he wants us to create, everything that he wants us to execute. So I'm that person. Are y'all praying for me? I hope you are. <laughs> but I love it. I love being in this position. I love what um, God is doing. I love what God is showing me through candles, through handcrafted light. Um, it's just who would have thought that being a candle maker and putting together light um, gets so deep. It really can. It really can. And I'm just excited. And I'm honored to be the person that he utilizes in this way. Um, it's very unconventional, but that's all right. Cause that's me. I'm very unconventional and I love it. But 
I want you to know that you need to stay connected. Stay connected. I'm going to drop the um, email list. Join our email list. I'm dropping it in the chat because we got some stuff coming, okay? We got some new products coming. We got a new product line. We got a new candle collection dropping very, very soon. We have some new events coming very, very soon to a city near you. What? You know, when somebody say a city near you, that means that somebody going to be traveling. Pure chemistry going to be out here traveling, y'all. So get ready. out, Get connected. Hop in on the um, the email list so you can, you can get the first round of information, the first set of details. You can get all the exclusives um, because some stuff just won't be uh, immediately publicized. Um, while we understand and know that we are not for everybody, which is perfectly fine, but we are also exclusive in some aspects and God wants to do some strategic things through us. So we understand that. So join the email list so you can know what's going on. So you can get, be the first people in line to receive invites to exclusive events, maybe even retreats coming in the future. Who knows? I don't know. I don't have so many people speak about retreats and I'm like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> what are y'all? Why are y'all telling me this? Why y'all keep speaking this word retreat to me? <laughs> like, but I'm not going to block nothing that got what to do. So I'm going to just sit back and uh, go ahead and wait my turn. But listen, I wanted to get on here tonight because y'all, I know I can't be the only one. I said, well, let me get on uh, the golden hour and, and process. And maybe somebody else can be on and process with me because We've been out here speaking in faith. We've been moving and shaking and doing things, right? We've been talking big talk. We've been walking heavy. I done put my boots on, been stumping. Look, I got my boots right here. I put my boots on, been stumping heavy out here in these streets. Clack, clack, clack. <laughs> been saying some real stuff. Been saying some real stuff in faith. And sometimes you say stuff in faith and you're like, yeah, okay. But then you really don't know what you're saying until stuff start happening. You be like, what did I just say? Right. What did I just say? Who did I say I was? I said I was this person. I said God was calling me to be this person and that person. And I'm supposed to do this. But why is all this stuff happening all of a sudden? And it seemed like I got bold. Right. I got bold. I start speaking. I'm going to be out here traveling. Pure chemistry going to be in this city, in that state, and doing this and doing that. And God going to fund it all. And pure chemistry is going to be on this place and that platform. And I'm just like, God, you said it. You want me to stretch my faith. Let's go. Like, what, you, what else you want me to say? And as I started saying all this stuff, all this other stuff started happening. And I'm like, wait a minute. Did we sign up for this? <laughs> Did we sign up for this? Did I ask for this part, though? I don't think I asked for this part, though. You didn't say, the disclaimer wasn't there that if you speak this by faith, in faith, and you are speaking out who you are and, and what your identity is and who you are, that these other things will try to come and get you to stop speaking and stop believing and stop doing and try to get me to stop dead in my tracks on um and stop getting me to stop focusing on and we've been talking about focus this whole time try to get me to stop focusing on the things that i've been speaking and the things that i've been working on and the things that i've been putting together right so quick side note before i get too far i got something to show y'all so one of the things that i've been working on like i said we got a new candle collection coming and I wanted to show, this is the first, well, I unboxed it the other day. If you want to get the full unboxing video, I'm going to be posting that next week. It's going to go up on Monday. And it's not going up here. It's going up on the Pure Chemistry YouTube page. So guess what? We're going to pause for the cause. I'm going to drop that link in the chat. Go ahead and hit that link. Um... And subscribe so you can get 
all the notifications. You can get access to new products and everything because I'm not always going to do it on live. Right. But I had to I had to do this one on live today because I'm excited. But we drop in so much more content over there. So take a minute, take a moment to click on a link and subscribe. Um, and you got to have, a, of course, you got to have a YouTube account to be able to subscribe. I know it's, it's some of my 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 seasoned people on here. Um, just in case you weren't aware, you have to have a YouTube account. You have to sign in with your email so then you can go ahead and subscribe. I just want to put that disclaimer out there. I love y'all. So so you can't say, well, I can't subscribe. Yeah, you got to be signed in to do it. But subscribe to Pure Chemistry. Turn the notifications on so you can get all that information. Because like I said, I'm posting the full unboxing video um, next week on Monday. That's going to be up. And it should be up by 4 p.m. on Monday. But until... Until then, I'm going to show y'all. We got three new fragrances. Well, we actually got four, but I got three right here. So we have three new fragrances ooh, that we got in the mail. And I am in love specifically with this one. So we have Cinnamon Chai. Shouts out to Candle Science. This is one of my favorite um, candle supply companies. And this is the top, the top dog that I usually go with, of course, because their name has science in it. And I love science. We love science here at Pure Chemistry. So this first scent is cinnamon chai. This one smells really good. It's real, it legit smells like a hot cup of tea. You just pour yourself a hot cup of tea and you can go sit down on the couch and you're gonna let it cool off a little bit you can see the steam coming off the cup and you blow it a little bit and you got you yourself a blanket and you looking out the window watching the sunrise that's what that smell like it's a whole vibe okay so then this next one this next one is actually called the golden hour it's called the golden hour shouts out to candle science it's called the golden hour um this one i kind of described it as i'm not gonna open it um, cause if I open it, it's going to like transport me to another place that happens with the fragrances. So I got to be careful. I can kind of smell it now through this bottle, but, um, it, it made me think about, I think I said, it made me think about walking on the beach with a nice, um, Arnold Palmer, you know, half lemonade, half tea. Um, it, it's not too fruity, but it's a very warm and inviting fragrance. Um, and then I got like a cute leather, uh, leather Lord, a cute linen dress on and it's blowing in the breeze and my hair is just blowing in the breeze. You know what I'm saying? So that's what this one smell like. I'm not going to go too far into it. And then this last one is called velvet vanilla. I am in love with this one. I can't really describe this one. I just, all I can tell y'all is I love it. All I can tell y'all is I love it. Nope. See, I almost messed around. I almost messed around and opened it. I'm telling y'all, I was so stuck on that one. I can't open it. I can't open it. And then, so those are the three new fragrances that I have right here. I have a fourth one, um, but it's not new um, in the other room there. But then I also want to show y'all really quick our new candle vessels. Okay, so we got new candle vessels. So these are coming soon in the new candle collection. These are eight to nine ounces, depending on what we, how much we fill up in there. But we love, we love a good apothecary jar. I'm very much old school vintage type of gal. So I love the, um, I love the vintage looking apothecary jars. So these are our new collection jars coming out very, very soon. So make sure you stay tuned. Um, keep it locked here and like i said hit that hit that uh link the youtube link in the comments and subscribe so you can make sure you catch the full description video of the new fragrances so back to what i was saying so we've been i've been working on the new collection i've been trying to be diligent about getting my stuff together i think because of what god has me doing with this collection i'm going <sighs> I'm going I'm to end up having to blog because I think that's the only feasible way that I could get the whole purpose behind the collection out. I could do a video as well, and I just might do videos, but I'm going to have to do a blog too, just because it's so many moving pieces, but 
it it's a candle collection, but it's not just a candle collection. It's so much more to it. Um, and it's so much more to it that God wants to do through it. So I want to make sure that I do what he gave me justice. Um, so people, so people will know what's up. And so it's been, it's been like a rough last two weeks. And I, when I say I've been speaking stuff, I've been spe- standing on Bible and business speaking stuff. Uh, I know my crew, um, shout out to my girl, Katrina. I think I, me and her was talking the other day and she was like, girl, I need to have faith like you. Cause you be talking some stuff. And I'll be like, look, if God told me he want to do something. All right. Don't look. I'm, I'm going to say this out of my mouth. So we're going we gonna to see what it's going to do. And I know he's going to come through. He don't lie to me. So, and as soon as we started speaking stuff, we were like, man, we showing up. We finally doing it. And, and again, shouts out to, to, to my girl, Katrina. Shouts out to you because me and her have been kind of um, on this show up journey kind of at the same time a little bit. And so we was talking about, how man, this was it was a time before that we didn't we didn't show up, we didn't get on live, we didn't show up on post and all this type of stuff. So it's kind of cool to see where we came from to where we are now and that we are committed to showing up. But on the flip side of that, we were like, we've been talking this big game, right? We've been talking this big, big God game, and ain't nothing wrong with that. You supposed to, but we immediately um was getting opposition. And so it felt like, it felt like I'm, I've been pushing a rock up a hill and I'm like, it gotta be a better way. It gotta be an easier way. Why does this feel like I'm being met with so much resistance? All of a sudden, I feel like I'm being met with so much resistance, just even showing up live. And I'm not even that type of person where I'm like, I'm scared to go live. I'm like, I done got to the point where it's cool. Like I can, I can come get on here and just sit and look at you. <laughs> Y'all gonna feel weird. Not me. I'm cool. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely cool, but it's just like, why does it feel like I don't have anything to say? Or if I do have something to say, my thoughts are all jumbled together. And I can even imagine like if some people are out there writing books, which, which I know some of y'all are out here writing books that um, you can't get your thoughts together. It's like, you know, you have it. It's right there on your tongue. Um, it's right there on your tongue, but you just don't know. You don't know what to write. You don't know, like the thoughts are there. You don't know, like, how do I break this down? How do I keep moving forward? How do I move this, shake this, do this, do that? Like, how do we just continue to execute what's happening? Why does it feel like we just being met with obstacles? It doesn't make sense. And a few of my people, a few of my crew shouts out to them. They were like, well, you you're on the right road if you being met with opposition and breakthrough is about to come so don't think you're doing something wrong because all of a sudden it feels like it just got a little bit more difficult or it feels like you you're being met with more resistance and if you think about it like this like when you're working out and you can get you can get on the treadmill and for 30 days straight you own just a, a plain treadmill no incline no speed no additional speed or anything like that yeah you get exercise but after a while you plateau and after after you hit that plateau you got to change it up and do something different and so what do you do you increase the incline and you increase the speed and that makes your body work harder to get that exercise that you need and so because the resistance is here i understand and know that it's necessary for me to 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 work my muscle, to work my heart muscle, to work my faith muscle, to work my brain muscle, and to work my um to believe in my God muscle. First of all, that's number one. Of above all of those is to work my God muscle, and then the other ones will follow. Um, faith muscle, heart muscle, mind, and everything else falls into place. But resistance is there to make us stronger. Is is there to make us stronger? And y'all look, I was at a point. What's today? Today is only Tuesday. I promise y'all, I'll be feeling like when it comes to these Tuesdays, I feel like it's Friday. I don't know where I'm at. 
<laughs> it feels like Friday. It's only Tuesday. So I believe this was yesterday. Yesterday I had woke up and I went, pr- I went to pray. I went to journal and everything else. And then I came and I was set, I was sitting at my, um, at my desk in the lab and I was sitting there. I'm like, okay, Kim, what we doing? And in my, my mind, I was like, I know what did I, I know what I needed to do, but for whatever reason, my body just didn't want to move. And so I legit, <laughs> I legit had to like grab my face and say, Kimberly, <laughs> I need you to wake up, sweetheart. Sugar, sugar foot. Come on now. Snap out of whatever's happening. It's time for you to move forward. And in that moment, I had a revelation that the old Kim was trying to run up on the new Kim to get the new Kim to stop. And I had to check myself. I said, all right, Kim. All right, Kimberly. All right, Kimberly, the dying rhymes with divine. Okay, chief candle chemist. Okay, joy chemist. Okay, CEO. Okay, Mrs. D. Dine, get yourself together because you are not the old Kim that was here even last month. We got stuff to do. So we can't keep focusing on all these things that are being thrown at you to get you to slow down. Because if we ch- if you focus on the wrong thing, you will do the thing that you don't want to do. I will say that again. If we focus on the wrong thing, we will then end up doing the thing that we said we didn't want to do. So if I'm over here saying, I don't want to be that person that's unorganized. I don't want to be that person that's not getting up and getting on the treadmill. I don't want to be that person that fumbles the bag. I can sit here and say all that stuff. But because I sat here and focused on all of that so much and I gave it, all of my attention, guess what? I messed around and focused on that so much that I didn't just go and be active and execute one thing. I didn't, I wasn't gone and being active and completing something that I needed to complete. I avoided what I was supposed to do because I was so focused on what I didn't want to do, what I didn't want to happen. And so I had to tell myself, I said, look, we are not in that season no more. You are not going to be the thing that gets in your own way. It's time for you to move. And so I said, all right, sis, go ahead, get up, take a break, take a rest for a minute. We've been talking about rest as well. Take a break, take a rest. And then when you come back to sit here and execute what you need to execute, you're going to work on this one thing. And once you do that, You're going to get up again and you're going to go take a rest because you will not sit here and get overwhelmed and start worrying about stuff you don't need to be worrying about. If God already told you, don't worry about it. He already told you the outcome. He already told you he handled it. He already told you that it's done. So there is no reason for you to sit here and waste your time worrying about something that he already told you. It's good. Don't even worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. And so I had to check myself. I had to check myself yesterday. And it was like, you know what? I'm going to go take a nap. It felt so weird to stop in the middle of everything and to go take a nap. But I felt like if I did not go take a nap, I would not have been able to pull myself together. And I needed just that 30 minutes. I think it was 30 minutes, 45 minutes, if that for my brain to be able to reset and to renew so I can get up and do what I'm supposed to do. And so actually when I went to go lay down, I was like, you know what? I'm a, oh, I'm put my hair down. I'm, I'm not trying to look like James Brown. I'm trying to keep my clear huxtable going. <laughs> trying to keep my clear huxtable going. So when I lay down, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna listen to scripture because I know I'm being met with resistance and I can't do this in my own strength. So let me go ahead and play my app while I'm laying here and I'm, I'm going to be good because it's still getting in my system, even though I'm trying to rest. And so I got up and I felt better and I went and executed what I needed to execute. And also it was one of the things that I did not. Y'all, I do not like doing. I'm I'm great. 
at being a supportive help to other people. But when it comes to me and my business and doing the admin stuff, it's for the birds. I really don't care. I like, I don't like it. I know I need to care, but I'm just like, get somebody else to do it. But I'm that dedicated person. I want to learn how to do everything. So when the people do come, the assistance does come that I know what they're supposed to be doing. And I could be a, a, a of assistance if, if ever need be. I don't want to get played, period. I don't want to get played. So I was, I was able to sit down and actually execute the thing that I was supposed to execute. Moral of the story, God was telling me that I need you to keep moving. He said, instead of sticking and moving, like in boxing, where they say stick and move, stick and move. He told me, rest and move. And I've been saying this since we I've been on live here. Um, He's been saying, rest and then you move. You rest and then you move. This is the formula that he gave me. And I'm going to continue to use it as long as he tells me to use it. I'm, I'm going to keep doing this. It almost seems like I'm trying to milli rock. Rest and move. I can't dance. Rest and move. You know what? I... My upper half, I feel like I can do a little bit with my upper half. And then my bottom half, Mike can do a little something when I'm sitting down. But when I stand up, the two don't match. So I can't dance. I can get I can get a hustle in or something. But that's it. That's all I got. Anyway, rest and move, rest and move, rest and move. And so that's my formula. I keep going back to it. I keep talking about rest, resting in the secret place. Um, I did a podcast last week. And we talked about rest and I um, kind of talked about my revelation I had about resting in the secret place. And God had showed me that resting in the secret place is an emergency. And it's a lot of people that miss out on resting. Everybody wants to get up and be in the hustle and bustle and grind and do everything that they're supposed to do. And then they try to tell God, well, God, I'm doing what you said. For me to do, I'm following your instructions. I'm being obedient. And my shirt says a product of obedience. Shout out to my sister, Ed. Um, I'm being obedient. And we forget that resting is part of the instructions as well. And so when he showed me that it was a 911, he hit me with the scripture, Psalms 91 verse 1. 911 he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadows of the almighty rest meaning dwell and abide go rest so you can get up and do what you need to do that verse is not psalms 91 we always talk about it as being a scripture for protection but it's also a means for us to rest so God can do what he can. So God can do what he said he's going to do. So we can chill out and rest while God take care of everything, danger seen and unseen. Right. So Psalm 91 verse one. It's an emergency. Get you some rest. Just like I did so I can get up and fight through the resistance. I had to fight through the resistance and at one point I was like yo I'm done this is a wrap I don't want to do this anymore like this doesn't even make sense anyway I don't even see I don't I don't I don't and then he was like don't you start this foolishness <laughs> don't you start this foolishness you came so far you have come so far for so long don't Take this moment and get frustrated to turn back around like you have nothing to go back to. You too far out here in these waters. You've been walking on water. Where are you going to go to? Okay, you certainly ain't going nowhere without me. So where are you going? I'm like, yeah, you're right. That's my bad. I, I apologize, Lord. I repent. I lost my head for a second, but we back. <laughs> we back. And the last thing he had told me was just emerge and see what I do. He told me to emerge and see what he does. And when he said that, I'm like, oh, so you just going to use a butterfly metaphor on me because you know that's my thing. You know I love butterflies. Pure Chemistry's logo has a butterfly in it. I've talked about butterflies ever since I could remember. This is what you're going to do to me. Emerge and see. 
And when he said that, I was like, okay, that's cute. And then he was like, but say it again, say it fast. Emergency. He got me with a double whammy. So not only is there it is it an emergency to dwell and abide in the secret place, to rest so you can gain new information, so you can, so he can renew your strength, so he can refuel you. But also on the flip side, it's an emergency to come out of the cave, stop hiding and show up so the people that are called to your voice can find you. So then he can do whatever it is that he has in his plans for you to get wherever you need to go. If I decided to fall back and not show up today and not show up all month because it has been hard to get on. This. I don't know why all of a sudden it, it, it has been hard to get on Facebook Live. Um, it is not because of the platform or anything. It's just been it's been a, a slight struggle, but I've still shown up. And he said, just keep showing up, keep showing up, emerge and see what happens, emerge and see what happens. And so I'm not going back into the chrysalis. I'm not going back into the cocoon. I'm out here. I'm already out here. So I might as well stay out here and see what happens. Right. I can't give up. I can't give up. Somebody else is counting on me. And even if it's a complete stranger that's counting on me, um, my future children, my babies, they're counting on me to continue to show up and do what I'm supposed to do. So I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. I'm still here pressing and pushing through the resistance. Even if I have to rest and then move, it's still movement. Either way it goes, it's still movement. Even if I have to take a breather, I'm still moving. That doesn't mean I'm stopping. It just means I'm taking a pause. Like, like my girl, uh, Nika, Coach Nika says, a pause on purpose. I'm taking a pause on purpose so I can get back in the game, get back in the fight. So if you are somebody that's working on something and you feel like you've just been met with resistance, like you can't get stuff done, like what is it? Why do I feel like I'm pushing up against the wall and I can't get through, eventually you're going to break through. Eventually you going it's going to get weaker and weaker. Them fingers going to open up. You're going to be able to slip. <laughs> Who is that? Oh my God. So I just got sidetracked, but I just saw, what's that video? Uh, What's that video? <laughs> what's that movie where um old dude was <laughs> doing this? <laughs> Is that Mike Epps? I don't know. I'm going to have to find now, but I'm cracking up because I can see him doing that. But that's going to happen. That is going to happen. We're going to break through. We just got to keep being consistent and persistent. Persevere, persist, and keep being consistent. It's, go it's going to break. Breakthrough is on its way. So I believe God just sent me today to tell anybody else that it feels like you've been struggling. feels like, I don't know what I'm doing this for. I don't know what's happening. I don't know. I don't know. You don't need to know. You just need to keep moving because he knows. Keep moving because he knows. You don't need to have all the answers. That's all right. Keep moving because God knows, but you just got to keep moving. Find out. And this that is the, it's one of those mess around and find out situations. Mess around and find out. Emergency is mess around and find out. And I'm brave and bold enough to mess around and find out because I done came too far. I done came too far to go back now. I need to see what the end. I'm going to run on like, like my, um, my season, folks. I'm going to run on to see what the end going to be. <laughs> I need to know. I'm too curious to find out. So listen, if you are somebody who is having a little bit of difficulty in knowing how to rest or getting to a place in a space of resting, allowing your mind to quiet down so you can actually hear what your next steps are so you can rest and get the vision that God is trying to give you so you can focus on the vision God is trying to give you. I'm going to drop this link in the chat. Go on and schedule a secret place candlelit consultation with me. Um, the consultation itself is free. So we can jump on a call and we can do a candlelit consultation. Um, and I'm going to ask you a series of five simple questions. And we're going to allow um, God to take it from there and see what happens. 
but at the end of the consultation, um, you will have, have the opportunity to get your very own aromatic experience. You will be able to get your very own secret place experience fragrance, your very own candle cultivated by God. He's going to use me as a vessel to pick out the fragrances to send specifically to you. And this is not the thing where you go at it and be like, oh, I'm going to like this candle and this is, candle is going to make all my problems go away. No, that's idolatry. We ain't doing that over here. I'm not interested. Return to sender. I don't subscribe. But it is a physical representation and a reminder to you when everything gets to be a little bit too much, the storm is raging, it's tornadoes and hurricanes and typhoons all around you, and you just can't see any rest in sight. Your mind is racing and everything. You can say, hold on. God allowed me to have this candlelit experience, the secret place experience, and I can remember everything that was said in that consultation, and I can go back and sit with my father and cast my cares to him and rest and relax and have a moment, have an aromatic experience that was cultivated and curated, especially for me. Schedule, schedule, schedule. Again, the consultation is free. And then the candle for right now, anyway, for right now, anyway. Um, And then after that, we can talk about your candle options. So come and join me. Come and get on a call with me um, if you are in need. Um, other than that, again, the link is in the chat. Join the email list. I'm telling y'all, we got some stuff coming down the pipeline. I told y'all the new candle collection is coming. We got the jars in. So we are um, putting together stuff diligently. We got the labels done. I'm ex I'm so excited. Everything is de detail oriented and very much um, intentional. And so I can't wait to put that out. I, I, I don't even know how God is going to have me put it out, what we're going to do, but it's going to be interesting. So go ahead and join the email list. Like I said, the link is in the comments. I can't wait to see you on the other side. And also, if you, when you join the email list, you have the option to join our special Candlelit Crew community that I am putting together. In that community, it is going to be, um, it's going to be different. OK, we're going to do some giveaways. We're going to do some free giveaways to people. We want y'all to participate with us and help us test out new products. Um, and it will be of no cost to you at all. It's a free community. Um, but you just you just the, the requirements, the requirements are you just got to be a person that enjoys a luxury aromatic experience. OK, because like I said, this is not a regular type of company is not going to be a regular type of community. We're going to be doing some things and I'm excited. So get in the email list, get in the community, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and am I missing anything? And get your, your secret place um, Kindle Lit consultation today. If you are anybody, call out, hold on, let me drink some water. Calling all of my luxuriously lit ladies that is in the Georgia, let's see, Georgia, Carolinas, Alabama, I think Tennessee is right up, Tennessee, potentially Florida area. If you are in one of those areas, in Georgia, of course, if you're in one of those areas, I want you to, if you're catching this replay, first of all, hashtag replay me so I know you were here. So I can come back and say, hey, but drop in the comments. Just, I just want you to say me. If that's you in one of those areas, I want you to say me because we have something special going on for, for y'all um, lovely, luxuriously lit ladies in that area. Um, coming really, really soon. So if that is you, drop a me in the comments and we're going to get some information to you. All right. So let me go to, get on out of here because I've been on here longer than I wanted to be. But just mess around and find out. Hang in there. Push 
through the resistance, there it has to break. Something has to break. I was gonna sing, but I'm not gonna do it because my throat's a little dry. Um, but the Lord is gonna bless these vocal cords one of these days. I'm telling you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put me on. I'm gonna put me on a dress and I'm gonna sing something. <laughs> I'm gonna sing something. Um, but in the meantime, emerge and see. Mess around and find out. Just mess around and find out. You've come this far. Don't give up. Don't give up. Go take a break if you need to. Rest if you need to, but come back and keep at it, y'all. Breakthrough. I, I feel it in my bones. I know I sound old when I say that, but I truly feel it in my bones. I feel it in my spirit. Something is about to happen. Something is about to break, and it's going to be amazing, and we are going to be so, so happy that we waited. We're going to be so happy that we messed around and found out. We are going to be so excited that we emerged from out of the cave to see what God wanted to do. So give give God something to work with. That's it. That's all. All right. Let me head out. So again, my name is Kimberly Dedine. Rhymes with Divine, your chief candle chemist, CEO of Pure Chemistry. Listen, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's about to happen, but it's going to be big. Don't say I didn't say nothing. Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't say I didn't warn you. All right, y'all. Let me get up out of here. Let me make sure I get back to the right page so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have a good night. I love y'all. Thank you for tuning in to the golden hour. Again, hashtag replay me so I can come back and say, hey, what's up? How you doing? And I'll see y'all next week. Bye. <laughs>